The word, uh, uh, when you see the, the phrase 10 days is not applying to 10 days. Amen. Uh, you know, a day is a thousand years in the sight of God. Amen. So it's talking about an overall uh, complexity of years to his church now, past tense, and future tense. Amen. All right, Amen. read. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Yeah. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. If you overcome the second death, or the second death really applies to the carnal body is the first death when you die. Amen. Now the second death is when you stand for the judgment seat and God said, depart from me, I never knew you. And that's the second death or the final death or the final ending of life story. So we have to make our mind up that we are truly going to serve God from the obedience of the scripture. And it's no time now to get sissified and weak kneed and, and jelly belly. No time for that. We got to stand up now and be counted. As never before, church. Hear me. Now, how can we prove by scripture that there is a right church and a wrong church? Amen. Now the Bible says of even Second Corinthians, Satan comes disguised as an angel of light. Yes. Or uh, even so, healed ministers come disguised as ministers of righteousness. Yes. So there is a false church. There's no doubt about it. Amen. And I shared, I think Sunday, uh, this clinic up in uh, Northland, Michigan, mm -hmm. where they're uh, trying to brainwash uh, <coughs> would-be mothers mm -hmm. into uh, having. Uh, not not having a guilt mm -hmm. by committing an act of murder by murdering the baby that they are carrying mm -hmm. and even to say write a letter to the dead baby and this is supposed to ease the burden in you and I guess from then on everything is complete mm -hmm. but a murderer is a murderer right. and that guilt right. you have to carry in the judgment Amen. I also heard over the news uh, last night mm -hmm. uh the senator from, I believe in California or Oregon, somewhere up in that area, Northwest, uh, Feinstein, I believe she's on the Appropriation Committee or the Finance Committee, one of the big committees. She made a statement when asked about the attachment of abortion on this health bill so that the American people will pay once the bill passes into legislation. Uh, we'll be paying for baby murder. And she said, it's a moral obligation for the American people to pay for abortions. <laughs> now, it shows you the drift of the federal government. It shows you the drift of the, uh, the legislative branch, the people who make the rules, make the government uh, regulations. It shows you what they are trying to do. They want the American taxpayers to be a part of a conspiracy to commit premeditated murder. Yes. And again, I tell you, whenever you decide to kill a baby, that is premeditated murder. Amen. Pre means before, meditated means you meditated or thought about it. Yes. Before you committed the actual act, that is premeditated murder. That is capital crime. Amen. That is a capital felony. And the penalty should be death. Amen. Yes. I don't have too much sympathy for someone who will take somebody else's life Amen. once they've already planned it. That's and that's right. the we ain't not talking about no automobile accident. On, We're not Papa. talking about nobody getting drunk and getting in a fight. Somebody hit somebody in their head, bust open. And, and that, that's not premeditated. Amen. Premeditated is when you sit down and think about it. Amen. And then you go ahead and perform the act. Amen. I'm not going to be a part of no premeditated yes. murder. Amen. I will not support the bill. I'm going to pay for the bill. Amen. Praise God. And I'm going to fight it every step of the way. We've got to understand, church, we're the only thing that stands yeah. between uh, God and this wicked, untoward generation that has turned against God in such a blasphemous way until it's almost impossible to realize how far more can they go. Amen. But nevertheless, mm -hmm. God said he got a church that will not bow Amen. to the gates of hell. So we have to understand the importance of who we are, yes, and it's no time now to back down. Amen. All right, now, the devil's church. God said in his word, he's against Sodom. The devil's church says, all right, bring them in. God knows everybody. 
The Devil's Church is for uh, women wearing jewels. Mm -hmm. God took away all the jewels. Amen. All right, now, in Holman's Dictionary, I hope I, I don't have mine with me, so I'm going to try to read from this one. Painting of the eyes. It says that the painting of the eyes was a sign of a character that had no responsibility. Amen. A character that was not of the Jewish values. Yeah. Amen. Actually, the painting of the eyes and the painting of the face was a part originated from the Babylonians and was passed into Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they have done research and found out in the Egyptian archives uh, these little amulets where certain clay mixtures mm -hmm. were put in together and mixed with a solution where they got the the, the paste that became the makeup. Yeah. They call it eye makeup, but it's really facial makeup. Mm -hmm. Though they did have a paint that went over the eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So eye makeup and facial paint is nothing new. Mm -hmm. It was done before Moses ever wrote the Torah. Yeah. So again, it was attributed to women and I, I matter of fact, it's page 351 mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know why these um, the dictionary is not the same. But it had to do, again, with a character that was not like, like God. Mm -hmm. So once we can understand that, once we can understand the importance of uh, holding our integrity and not being a part of the worldly church, because the worldly church is an enemy of God. Right. We have to realize that the worldly church is going to do exactly what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, well, I should have brought. If I was in a rush, I should have brought my own. My own. Uh, Husband's dictionary Bible with me. But nevertheless, uh, I said it was for uh, the eye makeup is for uh, was attributed to prostitutes. Amen. Now, ask yourself a question. Why, why would it put, and also, staining of the fingernails. Amen. This is where you get your fingernail polish. Right. That also came from Babylon. Let's turn to, uh, matter of fact, uh, Genesis, the 10th chapter. Dealing with the cult of religion that came from the land of Shinar. In the 11th chapter of Genesis, right from verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. Now this is the beginning of the Babylonian cult of religion. That's what... Babylonia. This was the cult of religion that spread throughout the world that was uh, instituted or invented or, or brought into a foundation by Nimrod yeah. <coughs> and his wife Samarimus. Yes. Now, what is so important about this? Nimrod wanted to be like God. Pick up Amen. in verse uh, 3. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Uh -huh. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. Now again, this is a form of pyramid. Nimrod wanted to build an, a, a, an idol.